So for our two uh, rectangles and parallelogram here, we're using the formula area equals base times height. And remember the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. So you're looking for where the right angle is happening. So for here, we're just saying five times two would be 10 and inches squared, square inches. The parallelogram, again, if you look at these two figures, the height can be on the outside of the shape or it could be on the interior, but the height must be perpendicular to the base. So when we're calculating area, since five is not perpendicular to anything, we're not gonna include it in our area formula, which is base times height. So six and four are perpendicular to each other. One's the base, one's the height. Be sure to label your units square meters. For here, um, I have three sides of a triangle, but only one is significant because it's the one that's perpendicular to my height. So a triangle is related to our uh, rectangle because it's essentially half. So when you look at that area formula, half base times height, that's why we end up dividing what I had before by two. So 11 is perpendicular to five, so I have half five times 11. Essentially, I have half of 55, which is 27.5. Put your units on there, and then you're done. Okay? Our trapezoid is a little bit different because he has two bases because both are parallel here and perpendicular to my height, which is on the outside here of four. So your formula is going to look like this. It's half the base one plus base two, then times your height. So essentially, it's the average base length times the height. So if I have my sum of the bases and then multiply it by my height of 4, if you do the math, remember you have to do the parentheses first. So here's 22 inside, half times the height of 4. So half of 22 is 11 times 4 gives you a an area of 44 square centimeters. So again, you can think of it as the average base length times the height. Um, we come to our circles, which our formula now is pi r squared, and order of operations says I have to square first before I multiply. So when you're looking for the radius, I'm given the diameter is 12, so my radius is half of that. I have to square the six before I can multiply by the pi. If you're asked to find uh, or if you're not told what to use, you're certainly welcome to keep it in exact pi, which would give you an area of 36 pi square centimeters. Or if you're using 3.14, you would simply multiply the radius squared by 3.14, and I think you get something like 113.04 square centimeters. So if they use words like approximately or about, that's implying that you're going to use the approximate pi of 3.14. If they don't specify, then it's okay to leave pi in your answer. Okay? So the other thing we do, so after calculating area, it's possible that we can calculate something else, like a high or base, given an area. So if that's true, your first uh, objective is to plug the information you know into the correct area formula and then isolate the thing you're trying to find using the pose. So for instance, if you take a look at these two examples, we're given the area in both cases and asked to find uh, the height. So we know a triangle, the area formula is half the base times the height. And what do I know? Well, I know the area is 12 and I know the base is eight. So if I'm looking for the height, essentially you have to depot the half and the eight. So you can simplify it first, half of eight is four and then I depot the 4, and I find that the height is equal to 3 inches. Okay. Here I have a parallelogram, so the area formula is simply base times height, and then what I know is the area of 289, and then I know that the base is 17, and I'm asked to find the height. So when you plug it into this formula, you see simply that I have to depot the 17. So the height is equal to 17 uh, meters. Okay, and then the final bit of review that we're going to cover is when you have a composite figure, the various strategies that you can use for area. So if you look at this thing, it's not a, uh, a formula that we have on our chart, so you can either add the shapes that you know together, or alternatively you can subtract the piece that's missing away from the larger. So with the first um, 
the first example, if I'm going to add the shapes, I think, what is it composed of? Well, this is a, a rectangle that is 12 by, how do we figure that out? Well, if 11 is the total length across and I have a bit that's 6, then this one has to be 5. So I have a 5 by 12 rectangle, and then I can add to that the area of this little one off to the side, which is a 6 by 2. So if we do it this way, we get 60 plus 12 is 72 square meters. The other way to think of it with the second strategy is subtracting away the part that's missing. So this is a concave shape. Um, so you would think this is essentially one big rectangle that is 12 by 11. And the piece that, that's missing is sort of this little rectangle that is 6 by, how do I figure out this one? Well, that would be 12 minus 2. This guy's 10. So I can subtract away this entire missing piece, which has an area of 60. So you figure 12 times 11 is 132. And if I take 60 from 132, that gets me the exact same answer. So with these types of figures, you can either tell me what you're adding together, or sometimes it's easier to find the area of the missing and then subtract it away. So finally, you get to try some on your own. So do number, no, number one, go ahead and pause, sketch these out, try to calculate it. Um, and know for C, you're looking for the shaded bit that's not including the circle, and I want you to use the approximate pi of 3.14. Okay. So with this first example, we have a trapezoid, and I know the trapezoid formula is the average base length times the height of the figure, which again must be perpendicular to the bases. So I have half of the sum of 20 plus 14 times the height, which is 10, because that's the one that's perpendicular to my two parallel bases. So we have half of 34 times 10, and I can half various different ways, but in the end you should be getting 170. My units are square inches. Okay? This one here, I found um, it looks like a uh, four-sided figure. And with a four-sided figure that has two, uh, essentially two bases, you're using the formula simply base times height. So the two bases are the same versus this one where the two bases are alternate lengths. So I think I'd, all I have to do is find which one is perpendicular. So eight is perpendicular to three. So those are the two that we're using. So we have an area of 24 centimeter squared. Okay. This one was a little bit more fun because I have a parallelogram um, that has a circle inserted into the middle of it. So you figured if the circle is not shaded, we've got to subtract that out. So the key to finding the area of the parallelogram is base times height, like so. And then I can subtract out the area of the circle, which is given by this formula. So for the parallelogram, again, the base and height are 14 and 8, not the 10, because 10 is not at a right angle to anything else. So we think 14 times 8 minus, if I'm using approximate pi, I'm going to plug that in here. And then the radius would be 4, because that's half of my diameter. And according to order of operations, I have to square the radius first before I can multiply by pi. Right? 14 times 8 gives you 112. And then I can multiply pi by the radius squared, which gets you 50.24. So when you do the final calculations, you should get approximately 61.76 square feet. Okay? So that's the area of the shaded uh, purple side. Okay, so for your triangles, again, you can have the, the height in the middle of the shape, or you can have it on the outside of shape, but the ones that you're using for your area formula, which is half base times height, are the two that are perpendicular to each other. So this would be your height, and your base is the 30. It's not the part that's coming out here, it's simply the part of your shape that is perpendicular to the height. So if you take half of 20 times 30, you should be getting, um, let's see, half of 20 is 10 times 30, we got 300 square meters.